Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to be testing eyeliners. This may be kind of a long video, but I didn't want to break it up into a separate video in drugstore and a separate video on high end. I wanted to put them all together because some of the drugstore ones were just as good as some of the high end ones and some of the high end ones were just as bad as some of the drugstore ones. So I like to compare them directly uh, because I think it just proves once again that you don't always have to buy high end to have things work well. So the parameters for this video were that I tested pencil eyeliners. So within the category of pencils, I did both pencils that you can sharpen and mechanical pencils because I think they're, they're very similar. They're the ones that you can draw on that I think people use on a daily basis as their go-to, not for a special occasion and they're also the ones that you can smudge out if you want. Now for this testing I did not do any smudging because I wanted to see if they did smudge when they said they weren't going to smudge. So mainly what I was looking for in this test was number one how it wore in the waterline. Then the second thing I'm testing for is how they wear on the skin of the eyelid and especially on the skin of an older eyelid. And then the third a parameter was the ease of application. So those are basically the three things that I was looking for with each of these and then how they wore throughout the day to the 8 or 10 or 12 hour mark. So as usual you will see me applying each of the products. Then I'll come back in later and I'll show you how it looked later on in the day. And I'll give you the claims of each like I always do, the price point, um, and let you know what I thought of it overall. Now as usual these will be in order from worst to best. I like gray so I tried to get gray in, in whichever formula I tried. If they didn't have a gray, I took the black. There's one that is purple because I only have that one. All right, so let's get started. But the first one I'm going to tell you about, and therefore the worst in performance for this test, was the Smashbox Limitless Eyeliner. This retails for $19. It's a sharpenable pencil, and it comes in six shades. Now, as you can see, I have had this one for quite a while and that is why I am so disappointed that this came in last because without doing this test I was thinking that this was one of the best ones and I loved it but apparently I never really look at my eyes at the end of the day to see how it actually wore. This claims to be a waterproof long wearing eye pencil that won't smudge or budge for up to eight hours. It says it's creamy and easy to apply. It contains vitamin E and jojoba oil. It's also paraben free. Let me bring in the video of me applying it in the waterline. This was really good at getting color in the waterline so it had good color payoff and it was easy to apply on the eyelid. It glides on easily, but doesn't leave the neatest line. It was kind of crayonish, so that the line on the top had a lot of feathering and was kind of lumpy. And now I'll bring in the video of me eight hours later and show you how it wore. Right. As I said, I was very disappointed in this one. It had lots of smudging below the eyes, and I had some black tearing at the outer corners. It was all worn off in the waterline, and it collected in the inner corners of my eyes. So I had like black junk here, no eyeliner here, black junk here. Really pretty look. Um, and the upper eyelid line had settled into creases and smudged quite a bit. So that was it for that one. I cannot recommend the Smashbox Limitless Eyeliner Pencil. The next eyeliner that I tried was CoverGirl Liquiline Blast. And here's what it looks like. This retails for around $7.50. Um, this one is called Silver Sparkle. This is a pencil that you can sharpen and it comes in six shades. So this one claimed that it has the intensity and staying power of a liquid with the ease and blendability of a waterproof pencil. So let me bring in the video and I'll show you how it went on. My first impressions of this one are that it was a creamy pencil that glides on and makes a nice thin line above the lashes. It had less even application with the tight lining. It tended to clump at the base of the lashes and not really deposit much color on the skin of the waterline. And it, this one also has a lot of glitter. But as far as, you know, above the lashes, it was really easy to make a perfect thin line that had nice crisp edges with no feathering in the fine lines and wrinkles. Now the one thing about this one that I really did not like is the wood of the pencil. When you sharpen it, it's very, very jaggedy. You can easily scratch yourself with this one. It should be much smoother, especially where you're putting it around your eyes. So now let me bring the video in of how it wore. And the reason that this CoverGirl eyeliner pencil is the second to the worst is because it just didn't wear well. It said that uh, it was waterproof and was long wearing 
and instead it smudged below both eyes. The tight lining was completely worn off. It was good on one eye and worn off on the other. And I think you'll see this throughout all of these videos. Apparently I rub one eye, but not the other. So that was the CoverGirl Lip Align Blast. Cannot recommend that one either, especially for tight lining. The next eyeliner pencil I'm gonna talk about is the is Urban Decay 24-7 in Oil Slick. It costs $20. Uh, like I said, it's a sharpenable pencil and it comes in 40 shades, which is one of the things I love most about it is the wide range of colors. Now, this is the, the place where high end really beats drugstore because in drugstore, if they come in five shades, that's a lot. So the claims on this one, it was created with 50% moisturizing ingredients suspended in a sophisticated waterproof formula. Uh, it's a brilliant collection of eye essentials. It offers long lasting color and a dreamy creamy feel when applied. It's paraben sulfate and phthalate free. So let me bring in the video of me putting it on. It was surprising how poor the color payoff was. So whether it was tight lining or doing the liner on the lid, in both cases, the color payoff just wasn't very good. This also had a lot of glitter in it. It's not as creamy as some, and where its claim says that it's creamy and dreamy and a pleasure to work with, it really wasn't. There were other ones in this bunch that were much creamier and much easier to use. So now let me bring in the video of how it wore. All right, the Urban Decay was kind of a mixed bag. In the waterline, it was kind of worn off like half and half, which if it wears off evenly, it's more okay with me than ones that kind of wear off in splotchiness, so you have a splotchy looking line by the end of the day. Uh, and on the eyelid, it was there was a little smudging below my eyes and about half worn off above the upper lash line. And the gl sparkles from the glitter were everywhere. <laughs> they were like, I had glitter sparkles all over my face. So this one, I wasn't impressed with. Next up is Laura Geller Eye Care Pencil. This retails for $20. This one is in charcoal. It's a mechanical pencil. All right, so you twist it and the product comes up there. This comes in 20 shades. This one claims to be soft, smooth, super long wearing, and water resistant. Uh, its treatment-like formula contains beneficial and nourishing ingredients, perfect for the delicate eye area. Specifically formulated for contact lenses and sensitive eyes, the highly smudge-proof formula helps to perfectly line the inner eyelid. So this one is designed, they're saying, specifically for the waterline. So let me bring in the video and I'll show you how it went on. All right, and true to their claims, this one was easy to apply in the waterline. It was smooth and soft and had no need to rub hard and it had really good color payoff. This one for uh, charcoal gray is really very dark. Uh, but sadly, it was the opposite on the eyelid. It uh, was very hard to apply. I had to, it was really tugging at my eyelid a lot. It was hard to draw on a good line uh, and it was hard to get a smooth line. It clumped up in the lashes but it did have really good color payoff, especially in the waterline. So now let me bring in the video of how it wore later in the day. This one was another mixed bag. As you can see, it was worn off on one eye, but not on the other. So let's look at the eye that it's not so worn off on. But on that eye, it was very uneven, not smooth anymore. It had some product left, but you know, spotty. As I said, I don't really like it spotty. And it was slightly smudgy below my eyes, but you know, not horrible. But this one, kind of a mixed bag again, 50-50. But in the lower end, I tested eight, so this is number four. So that was the bottom end. The next one is Maybelline Unstoppable. This retails for $7.50. This one is in pewter. Oh, where's the lid? <laughs> and it's another mechanical pencil. This came in five different shades. The claims on this one, it says it's smudge-proof, stay-put, waterproof formula, won't budge until you want it to. Self-sharpening packaging swivels up and down so point is always sharp and ready to define. Safe for sensitive eyes and contact lens wearers, just because it goes up and down does not mean that this is a nice sharp point. I don't really get that claim because that, you know, that's thick. It's not a point. Let me bring in the video of me putting this one on. This one, I really like the application. In the waterline for the tight lining, it went on well. It was very smooth. On the eyelid above the lashes, it was really nice and easy to draw on. It actually felt good putting it on. It's creamy. Uh, this is a matte formula, and so it had no sparkle and no glitter. This one seems to be going pretty well so far. 
let's see how it wore. This one did not wear great in the waterline. It was pretty much worn off completely in the waterline, but still on at the base of the lashes. Um, and it did have a little smudging below the, the bottom lashes. Now on the eyelid, it was in pretty good condition. Uh, it didn't smudge, uh, but it did fade a little bit. All right, now we're getting to the top three products. So uh, number three was Revlon Colorstay. This one retails for $7.99. The color that I'm using it in here is charcoal. This is another mechanical pencil and it comes in five shades. The claims on this one are that it wears up to 16 hours, it's waterproof, and it has soft flex technology that helps it to glide on smoothly. All right, so let me bring in the video. This one was a little hard to apply at first. It definitely needs kind of warming up. It did make a nice, smooth, even line after that. It has no sparkle or glitter, which I really like about it, but the finish is glossy, not matte. So it's sort of a nice in-between finish for if you don't want full-on glitter, but you want something a little more special. So let me bring in the video of 12 hours later and we'll see how it wore. All right, above the lashes is where this one performed the best. After 12 hours, it was still really good on the eyelids. It didn't fade or smudge. Uh, in the waterline, it was worn off, kind of spottily, as they all seem to be, and it was a little smudge below the eyes. So that was that one. Let's move on to the next. The next eyeliner is a pencil. It's by Sephora. It's the Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour Wear. This is $10 and it comes in 35 shades. This one is in the color Tango Night. So the claims on this one is that the silky formula is resistant to water, heat, and humidity, ensuring up to 12 hours of smudgeless wear. It's paraben, sulfate, and phthalate free. So let's bring in the video and I'll show you how it applies. My first impressions on it is that it was creamy and that it applies really easily in the waterline. Uh, it was a pleasure to draw with and it goes on my older eyelids as though they were young, <laughs> with an exclamation point. I was really psyched about this one. Uh, the line is crisp with smooth edges and no feathering. This particular color has a lot of glitter, but it also comes in three finishes, so I was so impressed with this line. So there are 35 colors, but of the 35 colors, they come in matte, they come in shimmer, and they come in glitter. So if you have sensitive eyes and you can't stand glitter, then you can probably get a similar color in the matte or in the shimmer. So now let me bring in the video and we'll see how it wore. In the waterline, it's a little bit spotty. It's pretty good, but it is worn off in a few spots. And because this was a glitter formula, there was glitter everywhere, <laughs> okay? But the eyelid wear above the lashes, was perfect. The line looked just the same. It looked just as good 12 hours, 11 hours later as it did when I put it on. But the lower lid was smudged a bit. So while I was really psyched about this one, how it made like a, a pro perfect line really easily, it didn't wear as wonderfully as I wanted to, it to, which is why there was one product that beat it out, although I gotta say, none of them were 100% perfect. It was kind of a tie for me. Um, I really like this one, but let me show you now which was the winner. All right, the one that was best in this round of testing is Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes. This retails for $19. It's a sharpenable pencil and it comes in 26 shades. This shade is called 21L. It's a kind of a pewtery, shimmery gray. The claims on this one are that it's a creamy, long-lasting eyeliner for intense, non-stop color. Pretty basic. It doesn't say it's going to, you know, change your life or anything. All right, let me bring in the video and I'll show you me applying it. Okay, my first impression with tight lining, this is such a soft, creamy pencil that it's a little bit hard to control when you're doing the tight lining. So you really just have to do them separately. So you do the tight lining the lower rim and then the upper one separately, and then you line your lashes. But that said, it is so creamy that it was a pleasure to use. It just glides right on, there's no tugging, and it makes it, makes it easy to draw a beautiful line and doesn't you know, leave this feathering jagged line that shows every crease and every wrinkle on your eyelid. So that's how it went on. Now let me bring in the video and show you how it wore. So the reason that this one is the winner is because it was the best one in the waterline overall. And waterline was really the number one thing that I was testing for. And then 
uh, ease of application and the wear above the lashes on the eyelid. Now on the video you could see that it was worn off a little bit unevenly. That day I happened to go to Ulta and tried two different under eye concealers and on the one eye it was totally smudged and on one eye it was still in place. And that I was like wow the under eye concealer really makes a difference. So the under eye concealer that was awful and made my eyeliner go everywhere was this stuff called Amazing. And I have heard great things about this, which is why I tried it. But after that day of using it, I will never try that uh, that concealer. The one where it didn't smudge, in case you're interested, was the Smash Smashbox BB Cream Under Eye Concealer. So that one, if you're worried about your eyeliner smudging with it, it won't. So that would be a good one to get for that. Although I did a flash review on it on my blog and I didn't like it. The video that I brought in was from 11 hours later. So this really wore well for 11 hours. It stayed in the waterline 11 hours and it stayed in place above the lashes for 11 hours. All right, so that wraps up the eye pencil testing for today. Some of these, I was really shocked at how badly they performed, especially some of my favorites. And um, I was really surprised at how you could just as easily get an inexpensive product that worked just as well as a more expensive product. But now you know which are the best ones for wear in the waterline and also which are the best for wear above the lashes and which ones go on nice and easy for our older skin. So I hope you found this helpful and informative. As always, thanks so much for your time. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.